grow. Permanent site will cut costs, free billions to help poor. The Olympic Games have money troubles. While it's fun to cheer on athletes from your home country in the Olympic Games, the cost of hosting the Games is not something to applaud. It is much too high. That's why we need to build permanent sites for the Olympic Games. The Olympics could return to these sites instead of building new ones. Brazil hosted the 2016 Olympics in the city of Rio de Janeiro. The country has a lot of financial problems. Still, the games have gone on as planned. It cost millions of dollars to hire 85,000 security officers for the Olympics, and Brazil spent even more on expensive new stadiums. The final cost for the Rio Olympics was probably more than $20 billion. It would have been better for Brazil to spend the money on housing and clean water. A movie director named Fernando Mireles helped plan the Olympics opening ceremony. He said that four out of 10 homes in Brazil have no indoor toilets, so the country shouldn't be spending billions of dollars on a sporting event. Choosing a permanent home. The International Olympic Committee needs to hear that message. The IOC is the group in charge of the Olympics. The idea for permanent Olympic sites goes back more than 30 years. In 1984, two men on the U.S. Olympic Committee suggested permanent sites. They wanted one site each in North America, South America, Europe, Asia, and Africa. That would be five sites total. The Olympic Games would switch between them. Where should the sites be? Why not ask the athletes? Medal winners would know the best places to play their sport. The Olympics began in Greece more than 3,000 years ago. It may make sense for Greece to have one of the sites too. Ending crazy competition and bribery. Building permanent sites would solve many problems. First, it would end the crazy competition to host the games. Second, it would end bribery. Some leaders have paid money to IOC officials so that their city would be chosen. Most importantly, it would be cheaper for the host cities. Montreal, Athens, and Rio de Janeiro put their futures in danger to host the Olympics. These cities all spent billions of dollars they didn't have. The cost of hosting the Olympics continues to rise. The 2008 Summer Games in Beijing, China cost more than $42 billion. In 2014, Russia spent more than $50 billion to host the Winter Games in the city of Sochi. In 2020, the Summer Olympics were supposed to be in Tokyo, and a new stadium alone would cost $2 billion. The IOC makes money from the Olympics. It could give the money it makes to the permanent sites to keep them up to date so that new arenas wouldn't be needed for every Olympics. There would be more money for everyone this way. IOC officials could even give extra money to poor countries for medicine or food. The Olympics have had many scandals in recent years. Athletes have been thrown out of the Olympics for using drugs to make themselves stronger or faster. Now, there are reports that the water in Rio is polluted. The IOC should do something to make the Olympics look better. And now is their chance. Con. Hosting the Olympics creates national pride. Some people have suggested holding the Olympic Games in Greece or in permanent places on five continents. That would be very wrong. There have been many problems with this year's games. People say there should be a better way to plan the Olympics. Right now, nations compete to host the games and they spend millions of dollars even before they're chosen. Some think that the games should be held in the same places in North and South America, Europe, Asia, and Africa instead. This would be a serious mistake. Countries would not get a chance to show their national pride or make important improvements for the games. Most importantly, they would not have a chance to make history. A recovery from World War II. For example, the 1964 Tokyo Olympics was an important mo moment in Japan's history. Japan was defeated by America in World War II. The Olympics gave the Japanese a feeling of national pride and continued the country's climb toward becoming one of the world's most important countries. Those Olympics helped rebuild Japan. The high-speed train connecting Tokyo and the city of Osaka opened only days before the Games. The main part of the highway system in the center of Tokyo was rebuilt. 
and Tokyo's subway system was improved. In 2012, Great Britain hosted the Olympics. That year, most British men said they felt a sense of pride because their nation was hosting the Games. This is very important for a nation. Making history beyond sports. The Olympics have also made history for reasons other than the Games. In 1936, the Olympics were held in Berlin, which was the capital of Nazi Germany. Nazi leader Adolf Hitler planned to show the world that Germans were better than everyone else and should rule the world. Jesse Owens, a black athlete from the US, proved him wrong. He was the most successful athlete of those games. Owens also became the first American to win four track and field gold medals at a single Olympics. His record was not broken for 48 years. Hitler was very embarrassed that Owens beat the Germans in Berlin, their home city. Standing up to the Soviet Union. The 1956 Olympics is another example. The games were held in Melbourne, Australia. Back then, the rest of the world did not know much about Australia. Holding the games there made viewers around the world more interested. The 1956 games were almost ruined by a war. That year, the Soviet Union sent tanks into Hungary. It wanted Hungary to follow its communist policies. In a communist system, the government owns all of the businesses. Hungarians did not like this system. They revolted. Shortly after, the Soviet water polo team competed against the Hungarians. Hungary won 4-0. The match was very difficult and even violent, but the Hungarians stayed brave. The Olympics belong to the world, not to any single nation. Any major city that wants to pay for the games should be allowed to host them.